as usual i got a message under the comment section about hcg in infection which is a human coronic gonadotropin in injection human coronic gonadotropin injection so i got a message in regards to that and someone was asking and um, what does it do i heard it's for pregnancy i heard it helps with fertility it helps to improve fertility now Ms. mary could you please throw more light on hcg in, um, injection injection so good day everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference and i make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers today i'm going to be talking about this hormone known as human coronic gonadotropin which is hcg that is said to help to boost fertility it helps to what it helps to boost fertility i'm going to be telling you what i know about this hormone and also what the food and drugs administration has to say about this particular hormone in regards to boosting fertility in both the male and the female in regards to what boosting fertility in both the male and the female so this injection helped to boost fertility but before we go into details in today's class if you are new on our youtube channel please click on the subscribe button turn on the notification button so you don't miss out for all my returning subscribers this is not miss mary saying thank you let's go there <laughs> All right, welcome back. Like I earlier said, I'm going to be talking about the HCG hormone, which helps to boost fertility. HCG hormone, which helps to boost fertility. I know a lot of midwife nurses and also those that are lenient watching this video will be surprised because HCG is usually released during pregnancy. Let me go, oh, let me go over it carefully and slowly. You see, this human coronic gonadotropin hormone is not popular like the estrogen and progesterone you hear, him, you hear me say. Human coronic gonadotropin hormone is not popular like the progesterone, like the estrogen we keep saying on this YouTube channel. It's a different hormone entirely. And that hormone is not famous, it's not paparazzi. That hormone is usually released when a woman is pregnant, naturally. So when a woman is pregnant naturally, this woman usually release the HCG hormone. This HCG hormone send a message to the body. Oh, this woman is pregnant. Oh, release a lot of progesterone. Let's help you, this woman maintain pregnancy. So that is what HCG is doing normally. HCG is released into the bloodstream to enlighten, to awaken the body, to release a lot of progesterone to help maintain a woman's pregnancy. So generally, HCG is produced naturally by the human body when a woman is pregnant. So whenever you do um, a pregnancy test and it shows two lines, what that two line is detecting is HCG, human coronic gonadotropin. That is what that two lines in that pregnancy strip is detecting, that particular hormone. You can see HCG is not a paparazzi hormone. So when the woman asks, how does it boost fertility? How? I heard it boosts fertility. What are they? What? How helpful it is? So I'm going to be explaining what happens. So this HCG injection hormone is given alongside with some other medications for the female. It is given alongside with some other medications for the female to help with infertility, to help boost fertility. Let me explain why. This HCG, when given, it imitates the luteinizing hormone. There's what we call the luteinizing hormone in the female. So when it imitates the action of the luteinizing hormone, this helps to stimulate the ovaries to release egg. It stimulates the ovaries to release egg so that these eggs can be fertilized. So women having issues with luteinizing hormone might be given this HCG to help them boost fertility, to help them boost ovulation to help them release matured eggs. So HCG injection is just given to help stimulate the body. It's acting, it's mimicking the action of luteinizing hormone to help it produce what? To help it produce 
eggs for fertilization. That is how this HCG homo help with what infertility. I hope you are getting this whole jack of HCG homo. So when there is a um, release of egg, then fertilization takes place and this woman is able to get pregnant. Even for IVF, it might be given to some ladies to help them um, increase, to help them produce egg for fertilization. So when the eggs are produced, they, they are, the eggs will be retrieved, fertilization takes place in the lab, and they bring it back to the woman for implantation to take place. In summary, what I'm saying generally is that this HCG hormone helps to boost fertility by what? By mimicking luteinizing hormone and helping the body to produce enough egg to stimulate ovulation, to produce egg, to get the egg matured so that it can be fertilized. So that is how HCG boosts fertility. Then also in male, this injection can be given in male to help them boost their own fertility. For example, men having hypogonadism, hypogonadism. So when you give them this um, um, HCG homo, it helps them to um, release more of the main hormone, which is the testosterone. So men suffering from hypogonadism may be having reduced testosterone. So when you give them this luteinizing hormone, it helps them what? It helps them boost the whole thing and enables them to produce this male hormone. So you can see this HCG hormone helps with fertility in both the men and the female so for those that asked about the hcg hormones and they are a little bit confused i hope this video help you understand it and also take note of the fact that a pregnant woman should not take the hcg hormone a pregnant woman should not take the hcg hormone so if you are pregnant it is better you tell the doctor and before the doctor even prescribed that or give you that, they have to do a pregnancy test on you. You get now. So that is that about the HCG hormone I have to share with you. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching our video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Miss Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.